The sound's not going on, sorry. Okay, I guess I'm gonna do it without sound. Um, my person is Diane Fossey. She's a zoologist and explorer. Where she studied was in Rwanda, and in Rwandan, um, they called her Nayira Machabelli, which means the lone woman of the forest. Diane Fossey was born in 1932 in San Francisco, California. She loved riding horses and dreamed of being a veterinarian. She attended San Jose State University. Her parents divorced when she was little. She grew up with her, with her mom and stepfather. Her stepfather, it is reported, didn't really seem to accept her. He didn't let her sit with her own mother at the dinner table and made Fossey feel left out. She used her love of animals to feel close to something. Her career began when she met famous anthropologist Louis Leakey. He worked with Jane Goodall and Ruth de Galdicas. Later, I mean, sorry, together with Fossey, Galdicas would... Oh, there's the music. Together with Fossey, Galdicas would later call them Leakey's angels. Goodall studied chimpanzees. Galdicas studied orangutans and Fossey studied gorillas. These three explorers showed people another way to see primates. When Fossey visited Africa, she saw mountain gorillas for the first time. She fell in love with them. When she got back home, she did research on mountain gorillas and wanted to go back to Africa. It took all her savings and a bank loan to return. Fossey started her research by letting the gorillas come to her. Eventually, as the gorillas began to trust her, she was able to go to them. They behaved as if they were her babies and were really comfortable with her. Spending a lot of time with the gorillas, she realized that they weren't the scary, violent stereotype of gorillas. They were actually very calm. The only time the gorillas were violent was in protecting their families. During her research, she took a series of notes on changes in gorilla behavior, which gorillas and which family, and how to tell them apart by their nose prints or the designs on their noses. However, some of the gorillas she recognized by their faces. While Fossey was in Africa, she wrote a book called Gorillas in the Mist, which was later made into a movie. She was played by Sigourney Weaver, who still actively supports the cause. One gorilla she really loved was named Digit. Digit was a gorilla that Fossey grew very close to and loved a lot. When poachers killed him, it changed her life forever. She worked with him and studied him for a very long time and started an organization called the Digit Fund. The Digit Fund protects many mountain gorillas with many donations. It is a good organization. Some people in Africa were very poor. One desperate way to feed their families was to hunt gorillas and sell their parts, hands, heads, etc. The poachers needed the gorillas' hands and heads for money. They sold them to Americans and Europeans on the black market. Bob Campbell was Diane Fossey's photographer. He was working for the famous nature magazine National Geographic when he first met Fossey. He got the most film that anyone had ever gotten of gorillas up close. Campbell had to get down on his hands and knees and crawl around for the gorillas to feel comfortable with him. But he knew if he stayed low, they would approach him. Diane Fossey was murdered in 1985. Her death remains a mystery. Even though she had many friends in the nearby villages, people think poachers killed her because she had fought so hard to stop the poaching of mountain gorillas. It is suspected that she was killed by poachers because no money was stolen or, stolen or any property taken. Whoever killed her just wanted to kill her. Diane Fossey was buried next to her beloved Digit. After Diane Fossey died, the Digit Fund was renamed the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund International. That organization still goes on today. Diane Fossey was a big influence on many scientists and animal lovers.
Caucus. She was a risk taker and very inspired. Her commitment and bravery helped to show another side of gorillas that before Fossey were very misunderstood. <coughs> like me, her love of animals was extremely important to her.